Do you want to look great in your video calls, whether it be for Zoom like we're using today or for Facebook? Video strategist Cheryl Pluff here and in this video I've got nine tips for you to help you look great on any of your video calls. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, new videos every Thursday. So in order to show you the tips, I'm going to share my screen with you and let's get into it. Tip number one is to look great using a really nice webcam. You want to certainly at least consider upgrading the webcam that's on your laptop or desktop computer. My favorite happens to be the Logitech 4K Brio. I absolutely love this webcam. A little bit pricier than some others, but well worth, worth the investment. The second tip is to look great with lighting. You want to light your face. So for example, you know, if you're using natural light, you want that light to come toward you and flood your face. Now, in the case of what I'm doing today, I'm actually using a ring light and I have the light positioned behind that 4K Brio camera and the light is coming toward my face. So be sure to light your face. You don't want to have light coming in from behind you. You want to make sure that you have the light coming toward your face. So make sure that you're definitely taking a good look at lighting. Lighting is key to making you look great on your video calls. Now my good friend Lucas, who actually did my hair for many years when I was on the Weather Network, uh, Lucas is a freelance stylist and he is amazing at what he does. He's a master with hair and you can follow him on Instagram. But Lucas shared some look great hair tips with us. And he says that to look great on video calls, you want to keep your hair off your face, face as much as possible. He also says you, to touch up your hair with hot tools if you want to have a nice polished look. So today I used a, a barrel roller to get this effect on my hair today. He also said use accessories. So ladies, this is your permission to go out there and buy yourself a little bejeweled barrette or something for your hair, myself included. I think we'll go shopping. Thanks so much for that, Lucas. Great tips. And then Leslie Kristen, who is the CEO of Care Cosmetics, has shared some look great makeup tips with us today as well. And you can follow her on Instagram at Care Cosmetics. She says, be sure to use high definition powder to reduce the shine on your face, accentuate your facial features so that you don't look drab, and foundation, concealer. Definitely wanna be looking at that and making sure that you use appropriate foundation and concealer for your specific skin type and tone. If all of this is Greek to you, then you need to connect with Leslie and she'll set you straight on what type of foundation and concealer you need. But those are the makeup tips to make you look great on your video calls. Now, when it comes to clothing, you want to be thinking color. Notice today I'm wearing a green shirt under this white jacket. Color and contrast is really the key here. If you have a lighter toned background, you may want to consider bringing in some color or maybe something that has a little bit of contrast. If your background is dark, then you could, of course, do something lighter. What you don't want to do is have your clothing be exactly the same tone as what's going on in the background. So always be thinking contrast and be thinking about color as much as you possibly can. I think gem tones look great on really most people. So color is uh, really something to consider when it comes to clothing to make you look great on those video calls. Now, the angle of your camera is really paramount. If you're using a webcam or even if you are happen to be doing your video with the camera that comes on your laptop, you want to be positioning that camera up so that you are at eye level with the camera lens or have the lens just slightly above your eye level. If you notice what I'm doing here today, I've actually got an old Adidas shoebox and, and it's sitting underneath my laptop to raise it up a little bit, to just prop that up. Otherwise, the camera would be too far down and I would be looking down this way and that's not the angle that you want. You want to have the angle pretty much at eye level or even just slightly above. So look great in your video calls by taking account of the angle of your camera. Now, Kathleen Porter from Natural Posture, Posture Solutions, uh, you can follow her on Instagram as well, has given us some look great posture tips. Um, actually, it's more of a statement around this, actually. And she says to avoid slouching. 
use the muscle tension to lift you, your chest up and to hold yourself together. This is what exudes confidence and a relaxed ease about yourself. And she says, as a bonus, of course, it's all about how you feel on and off the call. So that, thank you so much, Kathleen, for uh, sending that tip in for us. So it's about sitting up straight and exuding that sense of confidence. That's how you can look great in your video calls. Now, when it comes to location, the backdrop of your videos, you want it to be clean and tidy. I think a lot of people get caught up in what the backdrop of their videos looks like because they think it needs to be professionally designed or that it has to have special decor. And it isn't so much about that. It's really whether it's clean and tidy. Quick story, I've actually been on a couple of different calls with prospects lately where, and in fact, their whole um, business is based around organization and yet their background wasn't tidy and organized. So it's really important for you to um, you know, make sure that the background is clean and tidy because it does make an impression on people, okay? Looking great with rapport. What is rapport? Rapport is connection. It's building those, uh, those relationships with people through the camera lens. You want to be sure to be making eye contact with the lens. One of the things to consider when you're doing either a Facebook Live or you're doing a Zoom meeting is that while you're seeing a bunch of people on the call, and typically you'll see a bunch of boxes and it depends on how large that meeting is, the tendency is to want to look down at the people on the screen. What I recommend is that as much as possible, that you're looking at the lens and that you use your peripheral vision to take account of what's going on below the camera lens. Now, it's not going to happen 100% of the time, but be sure to try as much as possible to be making contact with the lens as you are speaking, especially when you're speaking on a video call. If you're in the part of the call where you're listening and you, you could certainly look down and, and watch other people, but when you are speaking, it's really key to be looking at the lens and then rely on your peripheral vision to see what's going on below you. And that's it. So many tips, nine tips to share with you today. I hope that you found this helpful. Be sure to check out these other Zoom related videos on my channel and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. New videos every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching.